What's up, Facebook? TGIF, everybody out there in Facebook world. Joe coming to you live with a tip today of Auto Mechanics 101. As you can tell, I've got a verse knowledge of a lot of things that we've done over the years. I used to be the tire man when I was 17 years old at a truck stop. I take apart a Chevy Chevelle when I was in the military back in 1986. I took apart a Chevy Chevelle just because I was bored. Pulled the engine out, we bored it out, turned it into a four barrel carburetor, put the whole thing back together. And when I went to hook that thing up, Chuck, all the oil came out of it. I forgot to put the crankshaft oil uh, gasket in it. So that was a learning lesson. But back then we were paying $1.50 to use the bay at the military base down at Fort Hood, Texas. So all my fellow military guys out there, thank you very much. Memorial Day just passed here. I'm over here with Kathy's car here. We got the thing all jacked up. Got my compressor out here. We got some impact wrenches right there. And impact sockets. I'll show you a little bit about the tools and what to look for. But I was taking Kathy's car out. What's up, Johnny Mac? This is gonna be good for you guys, man. You need to know these lessons. These are serious duper lessons, because here's the deal. If you don't pay attention to these lessons, your car rides on your tires. People don't ever put emphasis into the tires. They want to see how it looks. They want to see how it sounds. They want to see how clean it is. But the reality is if you don't have good tires underneath you, danger lurks. Funny story and lesson well learned. Yeah, so check it out, man. So here we go. This car this morning, as you can see, the belts are starting to come through on our tire right there. When I'm down at the store, you can see the belt is just coming through here. So I'm in the middle of rotating her tires right now. One side's already done. So back in the day when I was 17 years old, I was supposed to be 18 years old, working at a truck stop down in Exit 2, which is now Trader Joe's. All you guys back in Danbury, right out next to the West Side Deli. I know the West Side Deli is friends of mine on Facebook. When you guys watch this West Side Deli, there used to be a colonial truck stop there. That was my first full-time job as a senior in high school. I was working from, what's up, Robert? Mr. Aguilar, I am Robert Aguilar. So I was down there at uh, the truck stop from 3 to 11 at night. I go to school from 7 to 2, and then from 2 to 2.45, I go fishing up at Boggs Pond. So you guys that know in Danbury, Petey Byrne, when you watch this, Kevin Samard up in Boggs Pond, Guy Donahue used to do a lot of fishing back in the day. And I was just, and as a matter of fact, I went down to the store to get gas for tomorrow's job site. And I said, you know what, let me go down and take a cast at the hole in the wall. First cast, I land this monster fish. All of a sudden, I'm fighting it and fighting it and fighting it. I get it closer to the shore. It's a big skate, Robert. The thing must have been... I'm gonna say width-wise, probably about three and a half feet wide. I'm like, how is this thing hitting my little jig? You guys see the little jig lure that I use. How's this thing hit my little jig? But the reality is there's a whole bunch of bait fish down there. So these things are just swimming through, scooping up all the bait fish, eating them all up. First cast, first fish, breaks me off after about five minutes of fighting this thing. So I came home to take care of Kathy's car. So here's the deal. Let me give you the rundown on this tire situation. So when you guys go get your tires changed, you see you got the five bolts right there. Make sure they do not over tighten your tires, the bolts. If you let them put it on with the air gun, it's going to end up doing stuff like this and get your tires out of alignment. And you can see the treads and the, the steel belt is starting to come through on this tire. So I'm taking it off the front of the car, putting it on the back of the car. We're ordering tires for it. I got the guy right down the road here who's going to put them on for us. But here's the deal. I used to have this one car all the time. Whenever they would put it on with the impact wrench, I think it was Town Fair Tire, they would overdo it. When we used to do the tires, when I worked at Costco, I was going to school at nights or during the day. And at nights, I was working at Costco. So during the day, I was going to electronic school. Then I would go to Costco and change out tires. We used to have competitions who could change the tires the fastest. That was me. <laughs> I love competition. You guys know I love competition. This the screw gun at, at DeWalt's one time we went into uh, to, to Home Depot. It was like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The guy says, hey, man, we're having a competition today. I said, what do you got? It was a DeWalt guy. He had all the yellow and black on. I walk up to him. He's like, we're doing a competition right now, Jeff. He said, if you can get the five screws, sink the head of the screw into the wood, pull the gun out of the holster, sink the five screws, put the gun back in the holster, and hit the stop timer, whoever does the fastest wins the DeWalt gun. Guess who won that? <laughs> yeah, I, and then I had to stay in there for another 45 minutes so I can get my tool. I beat the guy by 0.2 seconds. And all my NASCAR friends out there, you know this, with these impact wrenches. Those guys make a lot of money. And here's the deal with the impact wrench. <laughs> you make sure you put air, oil, in where the air goes. There's a little spot. Let me pull this thing off. Now you did it. Sorry about that. So right in the bottom of this hole right here, it says oil, all your air tools. 
two to three drops of oil every time you use one of these things the seals inside will last forever so all my nascar fans out there know all about this it's crucial getting into the pits and out of the pits it's crucial taking care of the tires on your car it's crucial making sure you maintain your car putting grease in the grease fittings because over time those things keep bouncing up and down on these roads and they wear out they could snap off and I've seen it happen before where the thing snaps off and the car takes a hard left into the guardrail you do not want that to be you take care of your tires take care of the engine make sure you're checking your oil changing it regularly put it in grease in the grease fittings and make sure they do not over tighten the lugs on your tires because it will snap off the bolt and when the bolt snaps off you're responsible make them do it with a hand torque wrench anytime you guys go out there and get your tires changed tell them i want this done with a hand torque wrench and then ask them what is the pounds per square inch when you tighten these bolts most vehicles with aluminum rims are between 90 and 100 the, st the old steel rims and most everything's aluminum but the old steel rims were like around 110 to 120 i think was the max i've ever seen with truck tires make sure they're taking good care of your car make sure you're getting the proper tires on your car as i saw that with kathy's car i knew they were getting a little bit bald when we left back in connecticut didn't check him again but thank god i took her car this morning to go to the grocery store and i saw that so when we're going on a job site tomorrow she's going to be following me down so i'm putting those tires of the, the metal belts almost coming through we'll put those on the back we order new tires and we're going to be good to go so i hope you guys had a blessed and fantastic friday I sit on my tractor here and rest my legs a little bit so, so I hope you guys had a blessed and, blessed and fantastic Friday, number one. Number two, what did you do to close the week strong? Friday is the day that you want to close out all your stuff. So Monday is very important, as we know. Get up, set the intention for the week. Get up there and get out there and go and start Monday. Monday's going to start the week for the whole, whole week for you, all four days. After Monday, is going to be set by how you start Monday. You start Monday on a bad foot, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, they're all going to follow suit. Make sure we start the week with the right mindset, right skill set, and we close the week out strong, celebrating our wins. What did we do this week that we celebrated on? So I hope you learned something from this message of Car Repair 101. I used to be the auto mechanic guy, I used to be the tire repair guy, did the electronics, the home flip guy. So all these things that we've learned, I am now teaching my real estate students. We had another coaching call today. That was week number seven of the real estate coaching. If you want to learn about how to flip houses, how to repair houses, reach out to me. We are launching the website. I talked to my partner today. He's getting all this stuff out there for the website, how to retire in 10 years through real estate. And that is the truth. That is what will happen as long as you're willing to put in the work. Every day we have an opportunity to show up. Good to see you, Janine. Good to see you, Joe. Every opportunity we have this day, make the most of it. And I know you guys are getting this message. I know a lot of you guys are executing. I just saw we had four members come from our marketing and the Rise is One group for the Spiritual Awakening. Up to like 132, 1,032 members right now. Pretty soon there's going to be 9,000 like we spoke about. We're just launching now. We are just getting started. It's time to go out there and bless the people. Let's go out there to teach the people. All of us are going to learn this simultaneously. I see the guys are starting to post the app. we got the Rises One app that holds you accountable to your goals in all four areas of life. We have the analytics that track that for you. We have accountability partners that will do this with you. This is for you, for those that you love. Because when you're on top of your game, everybody around you will be on top of their game. And that is the gift, Joe. Everybody around you will rise to their next level. The vibration will change. The energy will change, James Clapp. All of it is possible because you decided to make a difference. A dollar a day to get into that app. Do it for 93 days. I suggest you do it for 93 days, a dollar a day. If you can't spend 100 bucks on yourself and utilize this app, they're gonna create the habits that serve you and your family. I cannot help you. You have to help yourself. That is the gift. And you maximize your potential and you pass on that legacy to your kids, your grandkids, your nieces, your nephews, your husbands, your wives. That is the blessing, getting better than you were yesterday. That's all we have to do. No comparison to other people. Go out there and give it your all every single day. For those of you guys who are just logging on here, we're gonna give you the, the quick tour here. You can go back and watch this video. So Kathy's car over here, check it out. 
Here's her tires. I took her car down to the grocery store this morning, and that's what it looked like. I see the steel belt starting to come through there, and we had to take this car out here. So I got the air gun out over here. Whenever you use one of these air guns, put two to three drops of pneumatic oil into that little hole. Then you can go ahead and run your air chuck. We take off all these five lug nuts right here. When you go get your tires changed, do not let them use the air gun to tighten your tires. They will snap off the bolts eventually. And the worst part is when you get a flat tire and you go to change your tire, you can't get the tire off because they over tightened them. These rims right here, so this side's already done. These rims right here, they're about 95 PSI. Make them do it with the hand wrench. This one's all done. As you can see, we got our big compressor over here. This is what it looks like for the impact wrench. These are hardened so they don't snap off on you. Little 12 piece before Sears went out of business because they didn't want to adapt and adjust and execute. That's what happens, David Jane. If you don't adapt, adjust, and execute, you will be out of business. That goes for life, that goes for business, and goes for everything. The four areas of life, sign up for the Rise app. A dollar a day will change your life. I can guarantee it. I've been watching people use this system over and over again. But do not let them over tighten your lugs on your cars. When that thing snaps off, you're responsible. And they're going to charge you for fixing your lug nut because they over tightened it. And I had it happen three different times. So I do my own oil changes. I do my own tires now. I was a tire guy from back in the day. I was a tire guy when I worked at Costco when I was going to school during the day for electronics. Did electronics for over 15 years. Rebuilt car engines back in the military, back in 86. So all this knowledge I'm going to pass on to my students. If you want to learn about real estate, you want to learn about construction, you want to learn about any of these things in life. As you can see, we need skills going forward. We have no idea what they're looking to do out there. But if you have a skill set, Aunt Karen, you can share your barter, your system, for whatever somebody else has. And that's what they did back in the day. I'll give you my pelt for some meat. I'll give you some fish for a place to sleep. It was the barter system. And I believe we're going back to that in some way, shape, or form. So keep showing up, guys. Have a blessed and fantastic weekend. Thank you for continuing to follow this mission, to follow this journey, to rising as one. All of our systems are on, on autopilot right now. They're all being launched. All we have to do is show up every day getting better than we were yesterday. That's it. Helping people along the way. The only time we should be looking down on somebody is when we're helping them up. So everybody in the Rise as One group, when you watch this, thank you guys for continuing to show up every day. It's expanding. Over 1,032 members I saw today. All organic. We haven't even launched yet. What's going to look when the masses see this message of all the love and the joy and the, and the lifting of each other up? There'll be 9,000 people pretty soon. They'll be wearing the hats, wearing the shirts, knowing that they're a part of something bigger than us. It's a unit. It's tight. One heartbeat. One love. One race. We are the human race. And when it's all said and done together, we're going to rise as one. You guys have a blessed and fantastic Friday. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.